Hi, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Zoo School here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. I'm Jen, and in just a minute, we're going to meet one of my friends, Becca, who's a zookeeper, and three of the animals that she takes care of. Um, today, we're looking really closely at animal behavior. Now, the study of animal behavior is called ethology, and ethology is really important because when we're looking at, um, at uh, animals' behavior, it can tell us if they're healthy, because animals don't use words like like we do, right? So if my dog is happy, he might skip around. When my cat's happy, he likes to purr. Um, and all of those things I know, those are indications to me that, that my animals are happy and healthy. Well, we do the same things at zoos. Since there are a few of us working together, we like to use ethograms so that we can compare our information. This is what an ethogram looks like. And you can see the animals we're studying today are likely to play, eat, drink, or sleep. Now here on the side are just little 30 second increments. So um, in just a minute, you're gonna meet Doc, Bump, and Rose. And they're three ferrets, and ferrets love to play. Now all of our ferrets came from a rescue, and we aren't exactly sure of their age. So we have a feeling that Rose is the oldest. She is actually retired, so um, we like to look at her extra closely because we want to make sure that um, she's still enjoying her play sessions, which she usually is. But if we start to notice that she's choosing sleep, eating or drinking, that may be an indication that um, you know something, something is changing in her body, and in which case the zookeepers would then talk to the vets. So I'm going to give you a minute. You can print out your ethogram. You can either use the template that we provided or you can um, draw your own and feel free. You don't have to use words. You can make pictures. You have a younger brother or sister or a friend at home that might actually uh, prefer pictures. You can do that too. So I'll give you a minute to get everything together and then we're gonna take a look at our ferrets in action. Um, I'm Becca, Jen introduced me a minute ago and in here I have Doc, Rose, and Bump. Um, I just wanted to tell you quickly a few of their favorite toys that I brought here. Um, first, I have the ball pit. They love that. Um, next, I have a tube, which I put around and over the rug here as a little, um, to give it some height and excitement. But also, I want to say a big thank you to my friend Kristen E., who got us a new toy off of our holiday enrichment tree. The uh, ferrets haven't gotten this yet. It's brand new. Um, so we're going to open it up. It's just a crackle shoot for a cat. The ferrets like that, too. There's a plastic piece on it. So we'll see how they like that. I think they're going to love it. And if you're ready, I will open the door and let these guys out. All right, first we have Bump. You might notice that Bump has um, a missing spot of fur and a little boo boo right there. Um, he had a bump, and the doctor said the vets took it off, but he is okay. His fur will grow back very quickly, but that'll help you know how to tell him apart today. Who's next? They all love to be on each other. Oh, it looks like Bump went first to the water. All right, you need help, Rose? Next up is Rose. That's who Jen, we think, Jen mentioned, we think Rose is our oldest. She's a little skinnier. Woo, the floor might be slippery, huh? And then the doctor. The doctor also, you'll notice, um, he had a boo-boo on his tail, so he actually had to have uh, some of that removed last week, but he's healing really well, so you'll notice he has um, a different looking tail. And we'll see how this goes. The, this floor is a little bit more slippery than the one they're used to be on. Oh, somebody's already in the crackle shoot. Look at Rose.
it looks like most of the time our ferrets spent playing and that's good news because we know that ferrets love to play. They didn't spend any time sleeping. Um, Doc and Rose, and even down here, they took a little bite to eat and Bump and Doc took a little drink. That's pretty normal. That's what we like to see for ferrets. Now, even though Rose is retired, that means that she's not going, not going out into schools anymore. She's not going into nursing homes or hospitals to brighten people's day. She spends all of her time here at the zoo, but she still gets these daily enrichment sessions. She still has to play all the time. So it's really important that we watch her extra closely. And we're looking forward to how you are doing your ethograms. So when you're done, please post pictures in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But we really want to thank you for tuning into Zoo School. We've had a lot of fun with you today. We'll see you next time.